The name of my session is Quit Playing Games With My Heart. We're going to talk about gamification. So I only have 15 minutes, so I don't want to talk to you about how awesome I am and all the things I've done. I'd rather let the presentation uh, speak for itself. So in 15 minutes, I'd like for you all to be able to leave here with the ability to define gamification, go back to your office, talk about what gamification is. I also want you to understand why gamification works. Why is this a really effective strategy to engage attendees and keep people coming back for more? And then I'm going to give you a case study. And we're going to talk about how Double Dutch has uh, implemented gamification successfully through our event application, which you've heard a lot about today, um, in a real life event. So gamification is the use of game mechanics in a non-game scenario to engage users and solve problems. Game mechanics, if you're not familiar with that terminology, a lot of this is difficult to uh, define, by the way, without using game in the word or in the definition. So it just kind of keeps going. But uh, game mechanics are essentially any rules that you would use in a gaming scenario. So these are things like points, badges. Uh, if you're familiar with like World of Warcraft or, or Dungeons and Dragons, leveling up your character. Um, any of those types of things that you can do to actually incentivize behavior uh, for a desired outcome. Today I'm going to focus on how we use in, uh, gamification to engage users or engage attendees or participants at your event. Now in mobile event applications, which you guys have heard a lot about, our, our friends at eTouches uh, gave a great presentation on this this morning. So I'm not going to go into event applications themselves. Rather, I'm going to talk about what makes Double Dutch different. And that's that we use gamification in our application to increase engagement so you keep attendees coming back for more. You're going to improve your return on investment. And you're also going to have a massive impact on the quality of your data that you're able to pull from your event so you can optimize in the future. Now, I want to take this uh, step back and talk to you about things that people think of when they're building a product or building a service. Everything that we go back to are these seven deadly sins. And the reason for that is these are natural human drivers that get people involved, that pique an interest in our brain naturally. Um, and if we can really speak to each one of these things in a product, in a service, in an event, then we can really, really massively increase the engagement. Gamification speaks to four of these. Gluttony, greed, envy, and pride. Gluttony and greed are uh, sins of excess. We want more. We, we can't have enough points. We can't have enough badges. Um, we were insatiate or insatiable. Uh, envy. Envy is an insatiable sin. Uh, we can't control it. It's something that just happens naturally within us. In an event app scenario like Double Dutch, envy is all about wanting to be the person on top of the leaderboard. You see someone with a badge that you want. You're going to go and figure out how they got that so you can have the same thing and you're not left out. Pride. Pride is all about being <laughs> happy. It's about being excited. It's about having earned something and wanting to share that with the rest of the world. So if you are the person on top of the leaderboard, I guarantee you, you're going to fight for that position. Uh, if you have a special badge that you've earned, you're going to talk about it at the event. And we're going to go into each of these things in a minute. So at Double Dutch, we create mobile event applications. Um, as you saw from some of our competitors this morning, they uh, basically we take the event content, we put it all into a really cool mobile application. Attendees can download it. If you haven't downloaded the Double Dutch app yet, you should download it um, and check it out while I'm talking to you. Basically, when we think of gamification at Double Dutch, uh, we think of first being social, because you need to have a social component to your application in order to do that. So social to us um, is being able to check in. It's being able to comment, like, interact with other attendees at your event. It's not just going to Twitter, tweeting on the hashtag, um, and, and doing all of that. We want to have you in a branded event uh, atmosphere that's unique to your event that people can engage with socially. Now, we incentivize behavior at Double Dutch by uh, enabling attendees to actually earn points. This, to me, is the really basic level of gamification in our application. So for every check-in that you make, I can add a specific amount of points. I can uh, encourage your behavior to give you five points for taking a, a survey in the application. 
If you haven't already, there's a survey in the Double Dutch event app for Planner Tech today. That's all about lunch. We'd love to hear what you guys thought about lunch. Was it delicious? Not so awesome? Amazing? Uh, go ahead and take that survey. You're going to get some points. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. We also enable you to unlock rewards. Rewards to us are like virtual badges. Uh, we've seen a lot of our, our um, customers create custom badges for their exhibitors, for their sponsors, to elevate that sponsorship, to give them more exposure at the event. And all of these things get published into the activity feed. So everyone is seeing that they've earned a badge. They, they want to know why you earned that badge. How did you get that? So they come back for more. Now, the first thing we talk about with our customers at Double Dutch is what are your event goals and, and what's going to make your event better? What are the attendee behaviors that are going to enhance your event overall? In a lot of instances, people want to see engagement. They want to see an increase uh, or a return on their investment, all of these different things. Here's a quick example of uh, someone who wanted to elevate the Cisco brand because they were paying a ton of money for a sponsorship at this event. So they wanted to make sure that Cisco left the event feeling like they got the exposure that they wanted, feeling like they got massive value for their investment in that event. The first thing that they did was create a push notification in the application, telling everyone that the Cisco happy hour starts in 20 minutes. Be sure to check in. Once people swiped that notification, they were dropped into the application. They got this promoted post up at the top of the feed. Don't miss happy hour, presented by Cisco at 5.30 in the main hall. Has a nice image, it's really engaging, it's exciting. Everyone knows about it. Well, when attendees checked into that Cisco happy hour, they earned the Cisco social badge. They also got points, you can see that down here. But the whole idea is that they wanted to increase the exposure of Cisco at their event, make sure that Cisco left feeling like their investment was worth it, so that next year, what's Cisco going to do? They're going to spend more money with them. They're going to increase their, their event revenue. So let's talk about a, a real case study, and, and I'm going to show you some actual results. Uh, I am a marketing person, so don't anyone tell Merge that I'm, I'm sharing their stuff. They'd probably be really thrilled. But Merge, <laughs> if you're uh, not familiar with Merge, uh, it's a Perforce event. Um, they're a tech company based out of San Francisco. Um, this particular event was a customer and partner focused event with just a few hundred attendees. Um, and the idea here is all about the Merge brand and their exhibitors, and making sure that people are sharing how, how to um, use their product or service. So when we spoke with Merge the first time, we established goals around what they wanted to see and what behaviors were going to make their event successful. The first thing that they wanted to see was engagement. So that's just overall, we want people to be coming into the application. We want people to be engaging, checking in, commenting, liking, doing all of these things, and taking action, because they knew that through all of that data, through all of those check-ins, they were going to get really, really incredible insights into their event and what was successful. The second thing they wanted was photo sharing. So they wanted to be able to, um, that's deathly. Uh, they wanted to be able to um, leave the event with uh, a slew of pictures that they could use for their marketing collateral. I think someone earlier was talking about user-generated content and leveraging that across social media. That was exactly what they wanted to do. So they wanted to find really compelling pictures, not just any Joe Schmo picture that's going to be posted into the application. They wanted real quality photos, and I'm going to talk to you about how they did that. The third thing they wanted to do was elevate the sponsors. They wanted to make sure that the people were getting the value for their investment and all of the things that I've talked about. So to increase engagement, people received points. We incentivized the behavior, so people knew that when they checked in, they received a point. When they commented, they received a point. But we went beyond that, and we said, for every uh, five friends you got, you're going to get X number of points. For every connection that you make at the event, we're going to incentivize that behavior. So people start networking. They start rating the speakers. They start rating the sponsors. They're really, really driving engagement so that they can later get all of that data. They wanted photo sharing. This right here is uh, the use of a promoted post that says uh, the first user to get 10 likes on a photo um, is going to receive a Perforce t-shirt. That's a pretty small prize, but uh, I'll show you in a minute how many photos they actually receive from this event. Um, a t-shirt, right? So we're just talking about a t-shirt. We're not talking about a trip to Hawaii, anything major. Um, but just making sure that attendees knew the rules of the game. So the rules are pretty simple, right? 
First person to get 10, photo, 10 likes on their photo, you get a t-shirt. Pretty straightforward. We'll talk about results in a second. Elevate sponsors. So they created uh, custom badges for their sponsors. So when attendees checked in to the uh, demo lounge, they received a badge. They knew to then check into other sponsors so that they would receive sponsor badges. They knew to check into different areas, different sessions, so that they would receive badges for all of those actions. So again, here's a view of someone earning a badge and then uh, getting some extra points. So let's talk results, because that's where the real money is, right? So I said the conference had a few hundred people. So we had 379 active users in the application. So that means 379 people downloaded the application. Of that, they performed over 26,000 actions in the application. That's 26,000 check-ins. That's 26,000 likes, ratings, responses. That's massive, massive data that you're able to get from your event app. That averages, over a two-day conference, 71 publishing actions per user. So that means they came into the application and they actually took an action. They didn't just go to look at it. They didn't just go to look at the content. They actually went in and performed a publishing action. Photos. Over the two-day conference, they got 473 photos that they were able to leverage across all of their marketing channels. Someone earlier was talking about uh, the uh, increasing, um, what was the word he used? Seven touch points. Connect, bond, bond. Uh, they were able to take those photos and continue to leverage them throughout the, the remaining year. They were able to reconnect with all of their attendees and continue that dialogue and continue that conversation. But beyond all of that, they now had 473 photos that they could pull from for their marketing collateral. Check-ins, likes, comments, we have about 6,500, 2,200, 1,800. Again, that's massive amounts of data that they're able to pull from. So to summarize, gamification works because it plays on our natural desire for competition, for achievement, and for status in order to increase and improve attendee engagement. So if you leave here with any piece of knowledge from my 15 minutes, it would be this slide. So I'm going to give you all a moment to take a photo. And I'll repeat it. Gamification works because it leverages and plays upon our natural desire for competition, for achievement, and for status to improve attendee engagement. Everyone got it? Am I in anyone's way? All right. So. If you haven't already, I'd encourage you to download the Double Dutch application. You could use this tiny URL, ddutch slash ddevents. Once you download the application, you'll go ahead and pop into the Planner Tech uh, section of the application. It's a multi-event app, so you just select that one. Start engaging with people. Start checking in. Rate speakers. Rate me. I won't be offended. Um, basically, what we're going to do at the end of the day is the top five people on our leaderboard are going to be entered to win a special prize. Um, I hear there might be something involved with Taxi Bucks as well, but that's not for me to say. Um, other things, if you'd like to tweet me, I'm at JustinSF. I also manage social media for Double Dutch, so you could tweet at Double Dutch, and I'll get that too. And uh, I guess I have about a minute 40, so uh, if there's a question, this would be a good opportunity. Sweet. Cue the music. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom.